and you're one of the Derek Pennington area in Caledonia. Fighting Scott Nation stood up. What a year. Eight and one in the regular season, win a district championship in Division Two, ten wins. And Brett Bakito, we visit Caledonia here as we continue along week two high school football practice in the state of Michigan. Maybe they could be even better than last year. Is that possible? Well, it's crazy. I mean, in year one, with Derek coming over and what happened, I mean, in this community, who lo it's, they love their football, but I think this was a year ahead of schedule, maybe. I mean, they had some studs, but they had some younger players as far as the talent position, and they rose to the level. Now they're going to be juniors, so that much more experienced. And, you know, you still got to knock Rockford off that mountain, but they beat Granville last year. They beat Hudsonville. What a year. Yeah, it's been incredible. They return a lot when it comes to skill guys, right? Guys like Joe. Justice Reed and Brock Townsend and Mesa McKenzie at quarterback. So that leads to a lot of optimism here in Fighting Scott Country. I'm just excited to get out there. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, it feels like forever since we've been out there. I'm ready to just play, go hit people. And I don't know, I think this season definitely feels, I feel different. Like, I feel ready to go. I feel like our team has, we've been getting after and practice and stuff. And I think, I think we'll do good this year. It's great to have uh, people supporting you. So it's uh, just, it makes it a lot more fun when there's a lot of people out there cheering for you. And there's always, you're always going to expect to see a big crowd out there. So it makes it a lot more motivating for us as a team. And we really want to, we really want to go out and show everybody what we, what we can do. We just got to stay within ourselves. I mean, I don't think that we really have to worry about what everybody else thinks. We just got to do what we do and uh, think that we just got to do what we do and we'll be fine. Last year was a great year, but we had a long talk with our kids. Like last year's success has nothing to do with this year. So, and we have different chemistry. We lost some really good seniors. We lost six seniors, I believe, that are playing college football on defense. So like we have some huge replacements on defense. And then we lost two really good offensive linemen with uh, Andrew DeVries and Caleb Parlberg. So like there's spots to fill. You know, this is a different team. Uh, obviously we return a lot of skill. Well, Brett, one of our running themes this year is going to be new quarterbacks. One school that's not replacing their quarterback, of course, is Caledonia with Mason McKenzie. And they're not only not replacing him, he'll be a third-year varsity starter. How big is that? Oh, it's huge. And he's a real good one. I mean, dual threat, lots of speed, not afraid to run the football. But I think this year and in the summer, it sounds like he even worked on his passing game more. And he's got some receivers back. So I'm excited to see what this kid can do because sky's the limit. I mean, we were talking about this with Zach Ahern. And he's kind of like a Zach Ahern from Rockford a year ago now for Caledonia. Scary to think about. Already has uh, offers from the best GLIAC schools as well as Illinois State, which is FCS. So really impressive. Going to be fun to watch Mason McKenzie this year. The season opener for the Fighting Scots will be at home. Ralphie Myers Memorial Stadium next Thursday when they take on Holt. Coming up tonight on Fox 17 News at 10, Remy Monahan checks in with the Zeeland West Ducks. And tomorrow, our tour stop will visit the Division 7 State Runners-Up Lawton Blue Devils. For now, we'll send it back to the studio.